Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you are new around here, I am a kindergarten through sixth grade music teacher, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to make a very simple rhythm game in Google Slides. So I've been with along with a lot of people been making a lot of Google Slides. Um, games and activities for my students, especially during distance learning. And I have learned the number one thing to the key to these games is hyperlinks. So I usually do have a video of, all about just hyperlinks in general and how to use them um, in a video and that I will link below if you guys would like to check it out. But today we're gonna talk about how to use them to make just a very simple rhythm game. This is like level one of our <laughs> different types of games that we can create. So let's get into it. So your very first step is to find your icon. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a game where the very first slide is just a bunch of icons, whether that's like, I'm gonna do one for St. Patrick's Day, so it's probably gonna be like shamrocks. The students will click on that shamrock, one of their choice, it'll go to that landing slide and they will clap and say a rhythm, and then it just takes them back to the main menu. So the very first step is just to find your clip art, which I am going to probably use Teacher Pay Teachers or Etsy. Those seem to be my two where I find my clip art. Of course though, you can just use them off of Google Images, but the key is you do want to find, you know, probably like 10 or so, 10 pieces of clip art that you are going to use. So once you have your clip card, all clip art or all your images set up, what you're going to do next is open up a new Google Slides presentation, just a blank one, and your job is to just insert all of your images and arrange them neatly on the first slide. And what I like to do is if you have it in a folder, just use a command and click that. And as you're clicking and holding it down, it'll highlight a bunch of them at a time. And so you don't have to go back. Um, and just insert one at a time. You can do a bunch at a time. Then while they're all still highlighted, I just go ahead and minimize them all at the same time. So that again, you don't have to do it all individually. Okay, let's see what these guys look like. Once you have your images placed where you want them to be, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create like a landing page for each one. So you're gonna use a hyperlink. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're gonna need eight slides after this. So I'm just gonna insert blank ones. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this very first icon, this rainbow, and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into my next one. And I'm just gonna put it at the bottom and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm not gonna put it on this side because this is where usually the controls are and they get in the way. So let's put it on this side. And then you're just gonna complete, keep doing that for all the other icons because these are gonna be your landing pages where the kids are going to be clapping and saying the rhythm that's on each part. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that you have each landing page, now you're just gonna put a rhythm on there. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can insert from image here and upload or uh, search the web. And you could just put, you know, quarter note. Whoops, <laughs> quarter, oh, there we go, yeah. Quarter note, and then you might just find the one that you like and drag it in. Let's say I like this one. And then you can create your rhythms based off of that. So the way that I like to do it is actually use a font called Music Ed Font. And because Google, you can't quite upload your own fonts, at least not yet, what I like to do is go over to PowerPoint. I'm gonna create a new presentation. I'm gonna take out both of these text boxes and I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna use this music ed font that I absolutely love. Um, it is best 30 bucks I've ever spent. You can upload it into your computer and use it on your Microsoft Office um, things and then you can easily make a picture of it and insert it into your Google Slides. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna make all of my rhythms. I'm gonna make it uh, pretty big. Let's say like right there. Okay, so I am going to 
Do you like ta ta? Good old ta ta tt ta. <laughs> you might make it one click lower. Okay, so say I like that, then I am going to ignore that and I am going to. Where is it? I think I have to. Yeah, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right, click right on the line that goes around this text box and I'm gonna press save as picture. And I'm just gonna call it rhythm one and save that wherever you'd like to save it. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. And then what I can do is I'll come back over to my Google Slides. I'm gonna insert that image, upload from computer, Go to my desktop, most recent, Rhythm 1, and there we go. So now I have, it kind of looks a little more uniform, a little more nice and neat, and I have the rhythm that they are going to say. Okay, so then I'm gonna repeat that step for the rest of them. So this is the part that's gonna make it more interactive for them. So you're gonna first click on, let's say your first icon, which is the rainbow for me. And you're gonna press insert link or command K is what I like to use. And then I'm gonna press slides in this presentation and I'm going to have it go to two. And I'm gonna press apply. And then I'm gonna do the same, but this time it's gonna to go to a three because when you click on our little green cup, I want it to go to slide three for them to see that one. And so on and so forth, slide four. This is where it gets tricky. Google has not totally figured this out yet. When you get to these things, sometimes it's hard to scroll down enough to click. So I like to do 50% and then I can usually get to the slide I wanna to get to. So this is going to slide six, slide seven, Slide eight and slide nine. Let's see if I can get to it. Nope. So this is where I do have to drag it up for a second, add in nine, and then move it back down into place. Okay. So now that I have the page, so when I press present, it'll go, it'll drop to it. Now I need a hyperlink though to get back to the main menu. So what I'm gonna do for the rainbow and all these other icons is I'm gonna link this always back to slide two, or well, slide one, I'm sorry. I misspoke, slide one right here. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing for each one. First slide, apply. Okay, so now that I have the landing pages hyperlinked back to the first page, now it should be seamless. So let's go ahead and go in present mode and let's just click on a few. So we'll go to our pot, we say T T T T ta ta. Then they click here and it goes back to the main menu. Here, main, oh, whoops, main menu. I think I just clicked wrong on that one. Yeah, here, main menu. Let's go to the little shamrock. And so it becomes this seamless game um, that you can play with your kids. So if you are still distance learning, uh, something that I have learned from Kevin, um, Kevin is my husband, he's also a general music teacher, and he was saying that he shares his to the web because sometimes when you do, I love present link, uh, present links. So what you do for a present, you would just take this off, that edit, and do present, and then it goes straight in present mode. I've also learned too, that instead of having this at the end present, you do preview, and then it really helps because the, the little menu bar gets really small at the end. So I like those, but if you if you uh, attach them to a Google ass uh, assignment, a lot of times they go still straight to edit mode. So what Kevin has found, I'm gonna go back here, let's see if I can, there we go. He's sharing his to the web, and then you can insert it as a link into your Google assessments or assignments, and then it they cannot get to that edit mode or change it or anything like that. So what he did, oops, not that. You go down here, you say publish to the web, and then don't really worry about this. This really isn't going to do anything, um, but you are going to get, oops, press publish. 
press OK. And then you're gonna copy and paste this link into your Google um, Classroom and that will be the one where they can see the preview and the title of it and when they click on that link, it will actually go to what we want. So let's just take a look at it. Let's copy and paste it into here. So same exact thing, uh, same exact idea where we get into preview, we have a smaller a little um, menu bar, which is nice because a lot of times with present, we have the huge bar that gets in the way and then they can play just like normal. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you found that helpful. This is just kind of level one, what I first started making when I was making more Google Slides, kind of interactive games. If you would like to see some more ideas of how to use hyperlinks and how to make Google Slide games, please let me know in the console. I'd be happy to do some more videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.